Hi there, welcome to our channel. This is a follow up of our previous video on the good story Akro 2 in 1 grinder. A recap in that video, we have pointed out the discrepancies between the real grind settings and the recommended grind settings. Here is the good news we have finally received the grind revision set from good story at no extra cost, which claim to resolve the two cost grind issue. Based on our coffee and prefer short timing for espresso extraction, the grind setting is between 0 010 to 0 15 clicks, which is off the recommended setting of between 0 30 to 0 60 clicks. For those who are new to Arco Coffee Grinder, the first number 0 1 2 3 refer to the vertical scale. Whereas second number like 10, 15 and so on refers to the circular scale. The grind calibration set consists of two calibration plates. Point 1 moves the setting in fine direction by about 6 clicks, whereas point 2 moves the setting in fine direction by about 12 clicks. Since our setting for a good espresso is between 0 010 to 0 015, the remedial action will be to add both plates, point 1 and point 2. I will now show you how to assemble the plates. Turn the nut so that the small hole is aligned with the hole in the grinder body. Use the provided axle lock tool and insert into the hole. Make sure it is inserted securely. Attach the crank handle and turn anti-clockwise until the shaft drops down. Remove the Danish spring, spacer and the inner burr. Clean the inner burr and shaft before proceeding to insert the calibration plates. Insert the plate or plates into the central shaft and into the lock pin. Next, insert the inner burr and make sure to align the lock pin with the hole in the burr. Assemble all the other parts in the correct order. Insert the set. Insert the nut and tighten anti-clockwise per hand. To check whether too many calibration plates were used, insert the crank handle, overturn and spin the grinder. If the spinning is smooth, then the assembly is correct. If there is resistance, remove one calibration plate to avoid damage. After verifying the assembly, insert the axle lock tool and the crank handle. Turn clockwise until you feel resistance. Do not over tighten. Remember to remove the axle lock tool. Done. That's it. Our observation with two calibration plates installed with our coffee and preferred short timing for espresso extraction, the circular 
skill setting is now at 32 instead of previous at 12. We are now safe to say that it is finally resolved and within the recommended grind settings of 030 to 060 for Espresso. Here's the coffee grounds samples which we have grind earlier on with and without calibration plates. Grind settings is at 0, 15 without plates and 0, 15 with two plates. Notice the difference? With the calibration plates installed, the coffee grounds are obviously finer. If you have any comments or you have received the calibration plates, what are your thoughts? Did the calibration plates solve the two cost grind issue? Do write your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching.